Good morning. Well, I sound pretty rough this morning, having bad allergy day, so just bear with me. Today, we're going to start fermenting chicken feed. So, I've been trying to figure out how I could best help my flock over the winter. Help keep them warm and secure and safe and all that kind of thing. And on a previous video, you can see where I um, winterized the chicken coop. But I want to go a step farther. And again, I apologize for my voice. <laughs> this is what I've had for three days. So this is it. But um, I've been doing a lot of research, watching a lot of YouTube videos, um, doing online research. And... I think I'm going to give it a go at fermenting chicken feed. I've heard a lot of good reports on how it's healthier for your chickens, how it should improve the, um, oh, <laughs> that's jelly. He has to get his two cents in. Um, but it should cut down on your feed bill. So without further ado, Let's get started fermenting chicken feed. So it's been two days since I started the fermentation process on my chicken feed. And we'll see what it's doing. Well, it uh, didn't really do much of anything um, it did kind of add some liquid to all the uh, feed dust um, and it did break down the feed into a little mushier um, oh you want to try it here we go we'll see what the girls think if they eat it then we'll go ahead and give it to the babies Well, I think it might be a hit with the big girls. I don't know how the uh, pullets are going to like it. But um, I think I'll go ahead and let it sip until tomorrow. It's already late in the afternoon. So I don't... Ouch! <laughs> don't eat my fingers. So get that off of there so they don't peck at my fingers. So, um, we'll come back tomorrow and give it to the pullets and see what they think. But so far it seems to be a hit with the big girl. The starter feed for the baby chicks didn't work out real well. Um, actually it's pretty much a bust. However, I did go back and redo the, uh, experiment and I used one three pound container of regular layer feed and uh, filled the bin with water till it was just covering the layer feed. And this is how this process worked. It did much better. It's a thicker, bulkier feed. So now I'm going to let the babies out or well I call them all my babies but I'm going to let the adult chickens out and see how they react to it well <laughs> I would say that's quite the success and uh, I'll show you what the rest of it looks like in the bucket now, normally, I give them one and a half contain or yeah, one and a half containers a day. Um, this is just one container full that I added water to, and that I gave them about half. And it looks like this is going to be plenty for them for breakfast, 
and then um, I'll give them the other half later. So it looks like um, this is going to cut my consumption for the adult chickens pretty much in half. So uh, I am going to call this a success. The uh, meat chickens, I'm not worried too much about because they aren't around long enough really to be that expensive. I think so far I've purchased two bags of feed for them and uh, I may need one more before harvest time. I still have about half a bag left of the second bag. So um, I am going to call this fermented chicken feed a success. So thank you from Hitch Chick Urban Homestead. Um, I appreciate you watching my video today. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. We are up to 120 subs. And I am so grateful for that. So keep those subscriptions coming. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks again and have a great day.